I not get the scratch of the day. But, okay. but next week is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Woo! Woo! I'm really excited to catch up on sleep. <laughs> I played for Coach Dave Matsu for three and a half years on my high school varsity basketball team. For three and a half years, I listened to him endlessly speak about these life lessons he would teach us under his coaching. I watched Dave smash pens and toss flipboards at halftime. I watched his face turn into an ogre in anger towards teammates or directly at me. I've seen him silenced by disappointment after a devastating loss. Freshman year, he made me sit out an entire game because I lied about missing practice. So when I was a sophomore, he threatened to send me back down to JV during a bad game. In senior year, we had a tearful conversation because he found out that I wanted to quit. <sighs> Countless times, I can recall his anger reaching peaks I didn't think I deserved. And as a result, I began to disrespect my coach. We had a complicated relationship. As much blame and animosity I had towards him throughout many moments in high school, it took me a while to understand his tough love. At practice, he'd say, it's not a walkathon, and he'd preach about working smarter, not harder. Those things he repeated over and over and over again weren't just applicable to basketball, but to life. He was teaching these life lessons every day at practice, pushing us to hustle, to hold each other accountable, and to play with our hearts and minds more so than just our bodies. These were things I realized that I wasn't doing 100% 100 of the time. Here's the biggest life lesson I learned from Dave. It doesn't matter how fast or slow, how strong or weak, or how old or young you are. There's two things we all have the same ability to control, and that is our effort and our attitude. Scarce effort and negative attitude are what would anger him the most. That is when the pen smashing, the ogre-like screaming, and all of his other temper tantrums would ensue. As scary and threatening as it seemed in the moment, I understand that they were necessary to push out the needed effort and attitude I lacked so many times. So no, I didn't quit, and now I have nothing but love for Dave. In the end, he made me stronger as a person, and what he taught didn't, did become the life lessons he said they would be. He developed my game as an athlete, but also who I was as a person, not just by teaching X's and O's, but by emphasizing the importance of approaching everything we want to succeed in life, in life with maximum effort and sound attitude. Although he bestowed his wisdom in mostly aggressive tones and during intense situations, it worked. I owe a lot of credit to Dave for the perseverance and drive I have today. And I can only hope that someday I'll be able to repay him for all he has done for me, not just as a player, but as a person. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.